So hello and welcome to this uh, quick Adobe anime tutorial and in this video I am going to show you how you can use the uh, break apart. So yeah, right now I am in the Adobe Animate and I am going to choose width and height uh, which is going to be 500 by 500. You can choose anything. I want this to be HTML5 canvas and I am just going to click uh, create. Uh, so now uh, imagine that I am going to create uh, some uh, shape. So I will go to the rectangle tool and I am going to choose some fill so I can go with maybe a blue color and I will get rid of the stroke and I am going to create a shape like so. Right now if I click on this shape I can uh, change the color of the shape or uh, anything. Uh, but uh, right now I have an uh, option to convert this to the symbol to be able to animate this. So I can go to the modify convert to symbol or F8 and uh, I can call this uh, to be for example blue and I'm going to make this movie clip and I'm going to click OK. Uh, so right now if I go to the library, in the library I am going to have my symbol movie clip and I can duplicate it from here and so on. Uh, but the thing is that right now if I click on this I cannot change the color and I would like to I would have to double click to go inside uh, to be able to change the color and so on. But if you decide for any reason that uh, you do not want this to be movie clip uh, and you would like to like uh, get this uh, like get rid of the movie clip but still have the shape what you can do is you can click on the shape uh, you can go to the modify and you can go with the uh, break apart or control B. Uh, so I'm going to click this and right now we are going to have a shape and it is not going to be a movie clip. In the library we are still going to have our uh, blue uh, blue movie clip and we can get it for, uh, get it from the library like so. And right now you can see the difference that this one is movie clip and this one is just the shape. I am going to delete this and I am going to show you another example. So I am going to get a uh, text and I am going to choose a uh, static text. And I am going to choose some fonts. So for example, I will go with the uh, Lato. You can choose whatever fonts and you can choose whatever color. And I am just going to type in here uh, hello, for example. Uh, the thing is that uh, if you are going to create, for example, some HTML5 animated banner and you are going to use some fonts, uh, there is like a possibility that uh, the person who is going to view the ads uh, on the internet are not going to have the font that you are going to create, that you are going to use and uh, the browser is going to display another font and that can be a little bit issue. So when I was working uh, uh, and doing uh, as a job HTML5 animated banners in the Adobe Animate, what we always uh, have to do, had to do is uh, when we had some kind Kind of text uh, we would have to break them apart to the shapes uh, so they are going to be display for everyone the same so what I can do uh, right now when I'm when I have this text I can uh, select this and I can go to the modify and I can go with the break apart uh, so right now this is going to break me this apart uh, to the letters like so so right now if I would like to I could like <laughs> animate uh, the letters one by one what you would have to do is like select everything uh, right click distribute to layers uh, then you would have like uh, them on the separated layers and so on but yeah uh, I do not want to do that but what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it one more time and one more time I'm going to break apart so the text you need to break uh, two times apart so I will go to the modify and I will go to the uh, break apart or control B and right now this is going to be just a uh, shape okay you can like uh, still uh, animate it uh, letter by letter if you want but this is going to be the shape this is no longer going to be a font uh, so right now everyone that is going to see this is going to see the text uh, as it is right now no matter if he is going to have the font or not uh, the last thing that I want to show you and I'm going to get rid of this uh, is uh, something with the image. Uh, this could also work with some kind of vectors, but with vectors it depends on the vectors. So I'm just going to show you this in the with the image. Uh, I have this uh, from the site FreePig. I can put you this in the description. But basically, I made uh, out of this FreePig file one PNG. Uh, so I will go to the place where I have it and I'm just going to have a uh, present which is going to be PNG and I'm going to provide you this I will give you this uh, this uh, link to this uh, pre uh, but you can use whatever uh, image uh, that you want and I will go to the Adobe Animate and uh, I am just going to put this uh, image in here like so 
And uh, yeah, and now what I could do is uh, first of all, let me duplicate this uh, because uh, uh, I would like to do one thing. So I am going to click on the layer one. I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose the duplicate the layers. Uh, so right now I'm going to have this uh, two times. Uh, I can uh, hide both of them. I can show one. I can show another like so. So the bottom one I am going to hide and the top one I am going to keep uh, visible. And I am going to select this like so. And I will go with uh, modify and I'm going to choose a uh, break apart like so and right now this is going to be uh, like broken apart and what I could do right now is uh, I can create a selection like so and I can make, so make something like this and I can create a selection and I can make something like this so let me go back and I am going to and this is just an example I am going to select this like uh, like so and I'm going to put it in here I am going to select uh, this part like uh, so and I'm going to put it like so I'm going to select this like so and I'm going to put it like this and uh, and yeah. uh, now now what I could do for example is uh, I can uh, select them and one by one convert them to the symbol so I'm going to select this one uh, you need to select the, the whole shape like so and I'm going to go to the modify uh, convert to symbol and I'm just going to call this symbol one I'm going to do the same thing with this one right now with the shortcut f8 symbol 2 uh, this one is going to be uh, symbol number 3 and this one is going to be symbol number uh, 4 and right now I am going to approximately uh, put them together with my uh, with my arrows or shift and arrows to go a little bit quicker so something like this I am going to do the same thing uh, with uh, this one so I will just approximately put it like so and the same thing uh, with uh, with this one so I am going to put it uh, together like uh, like this okay fine uh, I do not need to play with the details because I am going to animate this and what I'm going to do is uh, I am going to uh, select it like so and I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose uh, distribute to layers so right now uh, uh, let me see this one okay this is going to be nothing so I can get rid of this but right now I am going to have uh, let me let me see okay I have uh, this one I have this one I have this one and I have this one okay and uh, this one in here uh, is uh, probably the duplication okay so I am just going to delete this uh, but the, the point is that right now I am going to have the original one and I am going to have this uh, broken apart like so I don't know why I why I had more layers but uh, yeah and what I can do is the original one I can double click and I can call this to be original and I can for example extend the timeline to the 20 so I will go to the frame 20 and I'm going to click F5 or you can right click insert the frame in here and uh, these ones uh, I am just going to move uh, in here like so and I'm going to create new keyframes for all of them so I'm going to uh, select this like so and I will go with F6 or right click insert the uh, keyframe and now what I can do is uh, I can one by one I'll uh, put them like so put them uh, like so uh, like uh, so and like so and I'm going to uh, create the classic twin so I'm going to select it I will right click and I'm going to choose create classic twin and right now we are going to have the animation uh, where we are going to have the original image uh, I will just show it and then we are going to have the animation uh, where it is going to break apart like so so I could go with the uh, control enter and uh, we could have uh, something like uh, something like this okay uh, so yeah uh, this is it this is all uh, I just wanted to show you that there is this option to break apart uh, I mostly use this uh, for the fonts uh, but you can also use it uh, in uh, some other way so yeah uh, thank you very much and goodbye